All right, folks, use hashtag Cowboys to get your questions on the show. Again, that is how producer Dylan is able to find them. So use hashtag Cowboys. We'll bring them up on here. Anything about the Cowboys you want, let us know in the comments. section. Just use hashtag Cowboys, even if there are some non-Cowboys fans. I see you guys hanging out in there. All right, Elliot Kish. Do the Cowboys have the best ground game in the league? I actually go towards the... Baltimore Ravens, Baltimore Ravens, like because Lamar is such a dynamic runner, even more so than Dak, that's the road I go. But the Cowboys definitely have one of the best Brown games in the NFL. And it's not like they're drastically behind the Ravens or anybody else out there. They're all kind of neck and neck. Bill's also in that discussion, too. All right, Josh Erkman, rank our defense this year. Over under is seventh in terms of yards and points. That's my ranking. I think they'll, they'll be a top 10 defense, but they got to force more turnovers if they're going to be a top five defense this year. Smalls of the mob, how are we going to re-sign everybody next year? All right. So step number one, you cannot re-sign everybody. That, no team can do that. But everybody also includes players like Malik Collins, Lael Collins, Anthony Brown, those players, you are probably going to get pushed away. But if the Cowboys want to re-sign the big-name guys, the stars, Jalen Smith, Zeke, Byron, Dak, and Amari Cooper, they can do it. They have the money available. There is tons of cap space next year, and the cap only goes up by about $10 million every single year. Every year, you basically get a free extra good player with the way the cap rises at that $10 million price tag. So, the Cowboys are not in cap hell. Also, I just want to make this point, and it's not just the Cowboys fans, but it's the national media that's even worse. The narrative is not supposed to be, wow, how can the Cowboys retain all of their good talent? It should be, wow, look at all the Cowboys' young talent. Like, it's always a negative twist on it. Like, wow, if the Cowboys can't afford everybody, how about we talk about how great they are? How about we do that instead? All right, Jabriant to plug Barber. Do we need to replace Garrett to get over the hump? Sometimes players need something new. Well, they are trying new things. Kellen Moore is in right now as the OC. Christian Hart is basically the DC. Worked out pretty well last year for the defense. So those are your new things. And if it doesn't work this year, if it does not work out, you're probably going to see somebody else in there as the Cowboys head coach. Approaching 400 people watching right now. So type S if you guys are already subscribed. I know most of you are, but we also know how this works. Not everybody watching is subscribed. So, hey, if you're not, go do it. Don't lie and type S there. But if you do type S, I'll give a couple of shout-outs here. Matt and Beast, Glenn, Matt S, Casey Addison, Evan, Sonny, Josh, Dallas Cowboys, Elliot, Brian, John, Lewis, Swaggy D, Sir Cowboy, Ernest, Chris, Potato Master, one, two, three. Thank you guys all very much for being subscribed. Subscribe, I really do appreciate it. All right, Desmond McDonald. If Lee goes down, who will fill in with LVE and Jalen Smith? Well, in this scenario, you're mostly looking for your base package. It's probably some combination of maybe it's Joe Thomas, maybe it's Chris Covington, or Justin March Lillard. And Frankly, if Lee goes down because Jalen and LV are going to play like 80% of the snaps and you only use three linebackers for like maybe 30, it's not going to be the end of the world. Thank goodness there. But some combo of JML, Joe Thomas, and the Cowboys would like it to be Chris Covington. We'll see if that actually happens though. Sonny Rivers, if Cobb has a great year, do the Cowboys sign him? Assuming Cooper already has, has his own deal. It depends on the cost. I don't think the Cowboys want to invest $7 million in a receiver. They didn't want to do that with Cole Beasley. If Cobb wants to re-sign again for, let's just say, two years 10 or two years 12, I think that's doable. But I'll make note, it's a really great receiver class for the draft that's shaping up to be. So if they don't re-sign Cobb, I think they'll be okay, especially if one of the younger guys on the roster right now really improve. Kenneth Elsley, who will be the Cowboys' MVP? Everyone, make sure you are subscribed to the Cowboys Report channel. We will do most important slash most valuable player rankings for the Cowboys. You might be surprised at the number one answer. We also have a, a giveaway for you from our friends over at MyBookie. Do you want free money to bet with? I assume the answer here is yes, because it's free money to bet with, which you can turn into even more money 
So head over to chatsports.com slash cowboys. Use the promo code on your screen. That's go cowboys, all one word. Gets you a 100% bonus, i.e. you put down 50 bucks. My bookie will give you an extra 50 for free to bet with. You can bet on the Cowboys, bet against the Giants, bet against the, who else is bad this year? The Dolphins, bet against those teams, bet on the Cowboys to win. If you're right, you're going to win a lot of money there. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys, promo code go Cowboys. James Rodriguez trade Anthony Brown and pick for a more impactful player. Jordan Lewis starts in the nickel. Let me know what player and pick you have in mind. I'm open to the idea, but I also wonder what more impactful player would you get than Brown? I'm a big Jordan Lewis fan too, so I guess if you're getting like a 7 and you're trading away an 8 in Brown, but it's okay because you have 5 in Jordan Lewis, that makes sense. Math and whatever. I just want to see what player and pick you have in mind there, James. Rife K. I think we've been, we've been a while since we've, since we've seen you, Rife. What do you think about the Cowboys offense being ranked in the top 10 of the NFL's best offensive arsenals? Kind of surprised, actually. Um, I wouldn't think they'd be ranked in the top 10. I would put them more like 15-ish. I know you've got Cooper and Zach and Deke and, or, well, Cooper and Zeke and Dak, but I think after last year's iffy performance, other teams would be above them. Alabama man, shocker with an Alabama question. How do you think Amari Cooper will do this year? I think he's going to be great. There's probably going to be some of the inconsistencies that's always played Cooper in his NFL career. But if there's anywhere that Cooper's going to develop consistency, isn't it in Dallas where he is going to be the guy? I, th I think it's, it's, it's a good year for Cooper. Not like top five receiver year, but a very good legitimate wide receiver one year, which we saw as a whole last year for him in Dallas. Film production says trade Lael Collins to Cincinnati for a third-round pick. I would do this because I value first four-round picks, and I would like to see Connor Williams make the move to right tackle. It depends on if you trust Sewell and McGovern to start. If you do, okay, let's try it. If not, don't do it. You, you have to win games right now. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, I, they're not going to be good, and they, Collins has one year left on his deal. I don't think they would do that, but I would do it if I, if I were the Cowboys. Some more questions here coming in from Moos Kamal, the Giants fan in the comments section. Would you be salty if the Giants signed Des Bryant? I don't think I personally would be. Um, maybe a little bit, because uh, that means I have to cheer against Des, and I don't want to do that. Um, but I, I think there would be many Cowboys fans who would be a little bit upset. If, if the Cowboys went and signed Dez Bryant as opposed to Dez like re-signing with the Saints or something like that. So I I wouldn't be salty. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section. Like, Let me know if, if, if you'd be the upset ones there. But I, I would be surprised if if Dez actually signed with Giants. So in the end, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter too much there in the end. Nathaniel Bowen, I see Mike White as quarterback too. Mike White is more consistent than Cooper Rush. I think it's a little bit too early to, to decide who's more consistent because neither of them were very good last year in the preseason. We'll see what happens this year, hopefully with better preseason offensive line play. We had the comment from, from uh, Moose earlier. So which NFC East team do you guys hate the most? Eagles, Giants, or Redskins? Let me know in the comments section. Stop it, Mitch. Mitch said Cowboys. How dare you? Eagles, Giants, or Redskins? I think the Eagles will win. That's what Enzo and Sonny and Adolfo and Matt and literally everyone's saying Eagles. Eagles have it like 90%. Eagles absolutely have that one there. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's literally all Eagles. It's pretty funny. We're going to go back to moves again here. What will be the Giants and Cowboys record? Don't care about the Giants. Cowboys will go 10-6. and six. Giants are going to be bottom 10 in the NFL. They're just not good this year. Again, keep using hashtag Cowboys there. Terrence Schwartz, or Shorts, however you say it there. Trade a third or fourth round pick for strong safety Carl Joseph. Definitely not a third. That's too much. Maybe a fourth. I would try to get him for a fifth. But I, I, I would consider doing a fourth round pick for Carl Joseph. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. So... Type a different question here. What's your favorite dog breed? I asked this because we were doing our mic check before the show. 
Uh, and I, instead of saying the word off, I said arf, which was funny because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, which reminded me of dogs. So, what is your favorite dog breed? I am a beagle man myself, even though I, do, I don't have a beagle. I have a, well, it's supposed to be a golden doodle, but he's not. He's special and he sheds. Um, I see pug and pit bull and I'm not saying that one's Stephanie and I try. You too, John. Boxer. A lot of pit bulls in there. Okay, that's interesting. I would, I would not have guessed pit bull. I would have guessed like golden retriever would have been the, the top one there. I see corgis, also a great dog. Keep those flowing there, folks, here as to what your favorite dog breed is. Michael wants to know if there is any news on Randy Gregory. Not right now. The expectation is that Gregory will apply for reinstatement, and hopefully he gets reinstated by the, by the NFL. We don't know when that will happen. It's, it's a wild card in terms of NFL punishment, so nothing new there on Gregory. John Parker wants to know if Zeke is getting suspended or not. No. The NFL announced there would not be any suspension for this most recent incident involving Zeke. I think it was the correct decision. And Zeke avoids the danger of the NFL disciplinary process. But he's very much back in in, in their in terms of their, their view of, if you do one more thing, Zeke, we're going to drop the hammer again. Sir Cowboy wants to know, which UDFA do you hope to make the, well, hope, you hope will make the team? Um... Lots of options in terms of hope. I'm going to go with someone like John Vay Johnson because that means his speed really did show up. The hands were not a problem. And that means the Cowboys have more speed at receiver. So I hope it'd be someone like John Vay Johnson or a Mitch Hyatt or even a Chris Westry, someone with a lot of upside that would allow the Cowboys to utilize that in a better way than just going with a safe, if there's such a thing, as an undrafted free agent. Chris says that he thinks the Eagles are one of, if not the most hated team in the NFL. But that's very true. Uh, I don't think they're the most hated. Let's be real here. The most hated team in the NFL is the Dallas Cowboys because they hate us because they, they hate us. Marcus Frazier says, can we sign Zeke and Cooper next year? Absolutely. They, the, the Cowboys can. They can afford both of those players if they want. Emphasis on if they want to there. Jabriant wants to know how much cap space we'll have in 2020. Plenty. You can get up to 100 million, guys. Now, it's probably will come in closer to 70, but they can get up to 100. That's kind of a big deal there in the end for the Dallas Cowboys. So there will be plenty of money out there for Dallas to spend to re-sign their own players. Again, money, not a huge factor right now for the Dallas Cowboys. Nothing to be truly concerned about right there. They will have the money available to pay the guys if they want to. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.